So welcome to part two of the premium Telegram bot tutorial. And right now I opened up Telegram and as you can see, this is our message screen. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and search for bot father. So just type in bot father and you should have this bot father appear in your search results. Just go ahead and click on him and he's going to help us with setting up the bot, giving it an image, a description, and also retrieving the API key that's required for our bot to function. So we're just gonna click on start, and it's going to immediately start us with a list of commands. So it's actually very intuitive how to use this, but of course I will go through everything you need to know. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and use the new bot command. So we're just gonna go ahead and type in new bot, and just click on that. And we need to give our bot a name. This time we can name it Luigi. And that's going to be the name of our bot. Also, do not worry, you can change this at any time later. So just pick a name that you like. I believe that the username can only be edited once. So do pick this one with care. And we're just going to call it Luigi 2021 bot. So I mean, that's an ugly name, but as you can see here, it must end with the word bot and it can be anything you want, but uh, just for this tutorial, I will keep it simple and call it Luigi 2021 bot. Then it's going to give you a text with all the information you need for your bot, including the API key. And you just want to go ahead and copy this key and you want to store it somewhere that you can remember it. So inside our project, we're just gonna type in API underscore key and we are just going to insert it inside here. Next, let's go ahead and edit our bot so we can give it some commands later, give it a profile picture, a description, and so on. So to do that, we'll just go ahead and type in slash my bots. And it's going to give you a list of your bots. In your case, you'll probably only have one. I have made many bots before, so I'm going to have more than one. And here we're going to click on the bot we just created. So Luigi bot. And it's going to give us a list of things we can do with it, such as retrieve the API token in case you lost that. You can create, you can delete the bot, you can transfer the ownership. There are bot settings, but in this, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and edit the bot. And it's going to give us this very beautiful overview of what we've done so far. As you can see so far, we have the name, but no description, no about, no bot pick and no commands. So let's go ahead and edit the description of this bot. So the description of the bot is going to be the first message or the first thing that people see when they click on your bot. It's going to be a short description of what your bot can do. And here we're gonna type in, I can answer sarcastically to anything. And that's going to be our description for this bot. Then we can go back to the bot and we can pick edit bot again. And this time we are going to edit the about text. And the about text is what you see when you click on the user icon or the bot icon. You're going to notice it will have its very own description in that section, such as when we click on bot father, there is this info section and that is where you will see this about section. So let's go ahead and edit about and we will type in, I am Luigi Mario's brother and we will click on send. And make sure you get this success message because that will inform you that you have successfully updated the section and you'll be able to see it later. Next, we want to go ahead and edit the bot pick. And an easier way just to go there is just to click up here because it will send you to the same section. And then it's going to ask you, okay, send me the new profile photo for the bot. Then you should go into your images and pick a photo for your bot. I'm going to select this one and send it to bot father. And it's going to say success, profile photo updated. Then let's click back to bot, click on edit bot. And the final thing we're missing are the commands, but I believe it will be much better to explain that later when we actually write it in Python. We will come back to this and we will edit that later. But now we can actually go ahead and try to find our bot, which should be located at Luigi underscore 2021 underscore bot. And if we just get out of Botfather, we can search for that. We can type in Luigi underscore 2021 underscore bot. And you'll notice that we will have our bot available. And if we click on it, you're going to see that it will have the what can this bot do text. And here I wrote, I can answer sarcastically to anything. If we click on my profile picture, you'll see a picture of me behind bars. 
and that the bio is set to Luigi, Mario's brother. Then we can click on start and we have not defined any start command yet, so nothing will happen. Our program is not even running, so nothing is supposed to happen at this point. But we have taken care of the fundamental part, which is getting started with creating the bot. And that's actually all I wanted to go through in this video. In the next video, we'll be covering the imports and the responses and setting up the project in general. So with that being said, see you guys in the next video.